real estate and lawyers and it's like why do we need them when we have escrow or why do we need them when we got this stuff all all settled in and what's the big deal everything went fine got a new home new housing development the developers got my back we got other things but you know sometimes things come up that still may have issues that impact the value of your property where you will need some sort of uh, at least advice or representation in this case especially our neighbors just to the south and to the the west of us there Porter Ranch going through a few little issues here to say the least to put it very mildly Jeffrey Hacker uh, has a little bit of uh, insight on that right counselor I have a little insight uh, obviously it's a disaster and the uh, there are a significant amount of real estate issues uh, in Porter Ranch now what's going on with Porter Ranch right now just in case the uh, someone fell out of the sky and has not turned on the news in the last couple months well uh, if, if you just fell out of the sky <laughs> There is, uh, the easiest way to describe it, there's a gas leak on, in, a, in a line, a gas field controlled by Southern California Edison that uh, has not been able to be plugged. Uh, it has been uh, emitting uh, gas fumes and other noxious odors in, into the air. Residents are very, very concerned, as they should be. Uh, people have been relocated because of the threat of the environmental contamination. And uh, that's an area where there are multifamily units. So there's apartment homes, there's town town homes, and there are uh, homes. Imagine if you were in escrow to, to sell your house, <clears throat> and all of a sudden the governor declares a state of emergency. What does the buyer want to do? The buyer wants to back out of the deal because the buyer doesn't want to buy in an area where uh, there's a significant health hazard uh, to the buyer and the buyer's family. Exactly. Exactly. It's not like going in low. You know, we'll just wait this out. And this is this is true. And this is something, this is something that goes uh, potentially even beyond like whatever the contingencies, which you normally in real estate, you have a certain amount of time under the normal contract to be able to back out. And this is something that seems, is it an extraneous circumstance or is oh, it still would, a problem? It's a problem. I wouldn't call it an extraneous circumstance. I'd call it a extraordinary circumstance that uh, by and large, uh, is not for, uh, totally unforeseen, wasn't planned for. Uh, the documentation, just in uh, bare bones, isn't going to specifically address this type of situation. And if it does, it would do it only on a very, very general sense. So then you have uh, what we call basic contract principles that start playing, such as whether or not there's a basis to undo the deal on rescission. Rescission is a legal doctrine that says that people can uh, uh, get out of a contract if there's fraud or mutual mistake of material fact or what we call unilateral mistake of material fact. There's impossibility of uh, performance and then there's a doctrine called force majeure, which is basically an act of government. God. Uh, one can argue this is really not an act of God because Southern California Edison exactly. isn't, isn't God. But force majeure also deals with strikes, labor strife, and, and other circumstances that, while not necessarily an act of God, are beyond uh, folks' control. And then in contract interpretation, you also have impossibility of performance. So that's just to name a couple of topics that unfortunately uh, dovetail into the this port uh, plight that these people have through no fault of their own. Exactly. So when we talk about the legal side from a from a representative standpoint, what you're what you're involved in over there, what what is it that people come to you for? Uh, uh, unfortunately, I've been consulted on a, a, a range of just the real estate issues because there's some very very capable firms, uh, and I'll give a plug for somebody, the RX Paris Law Firm, as an example, who are handling the toxic tort issues out there. Uh, the real estate issues can be anything from I'm I'm a tenant and I can't be in my uh, unit because of the environmental exposure and I've also been relocated but my landlord still wants me to pay rent what do I do exactly from the land and then the, the flip side of that coin is the landlord saying the same exact thing but obviously for a little different reason and then as we already touched on what if you're selling a house Exactly. Exactly. So that's, there's a lot there. And these are things to think about, you know, 
events beyond our control, things that happen that can affect the value. Mostly what we're talking about is the value of your property. We buy property not just for a place to live. We do it as also as an investment in hoping that uh, that value is going to increase over time for whatever reason, whether it's short term or long term. So you want to make sure that it's protected to the best of the ability. And in this case, uh, uh, expertise from uh, the hacker law group is something that might be necessary. Do you know, I mean, is this is something that's going to be going on for quite a long time, am I right? It, 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 this is going, unfortunately, to go on for a long time. There's a myriad of legal issues, and it's hard to believe that it's going to get resolved within a short period of time. I wish it would. Uh, the residents uh, deserve that. They don't deserve to go through uh, this strife and this tumult. And, but... Um, it's rare where uh, big business does the right thing. I hope they do that here. We hope so. Hackerlawgroup.com. Phone number? 259-6800. Practicing law here since 1983. They know their stuff.